as above, so below. Now, I'm sure we're all familiar with that phrase. Um, mostly, though, we think of it as a description of the universe, as above, so below. But it's more than that. It's an instruction. Not just a description, it's an instruction. And it's the, the basis of hermetics, and I could argue the basis of all spiritual pursuit. As above, so below. In other words, the above, the I, must be brought down into the below, into the present moment of time and space. Through us, I mean, that is the avenue through which the eye is brought down into the present moment. And that's the goal of initiation to hermetics. If you look to step 10, it's building that relationship with one's own personal Godhead, the I, um, in, you know, merging with the I, with the personal Godhead. So it's more than just making the connection, it's merging with, it's becoming the I, um, and manifesting it consciously and intentionally in the physical present moment of time-space, that magical moment, which is the culmination of everything. Yes, right here, right now. This is it, folks. Um, so, initiation is that same process, but it, it, hermetics as a path is very grounded. It spends the majority of its time building this foundation brick by brick so that by the time you reach the eye, you know what the below is. So it's balanced in this way. As you progress upwards, you understand more and more and more about the below, because you have to understand the below as much as you understand the above in order to merge the two. So, hermetics is, in a sense, a very slow path up to the eye. <clears throat> but, it has the benefit of having the ground that enables the descent of the eye into the present moment that much easier, you know, that much quicker, that, that much more solid, that much more sincere. And that is the ultimate goal. Um, this bi-directional um, development, okay? Um, <clears throat> a religious path will focus more on worship as the avenue to merging with the I. But it doesn't have that same solidity of grounding that a hermetic path, for example, will. A mystical and magical path are much the same. It's more direct to the I, but it has that grounding, especially the magical path. The mystical path can be very ungrounded, but eventually it achieves the grounding once it has attained the I. Um, and this is what my recent book of Aries is about. This as above, so below. Because it's predicated, the whole thing is predicated on first making that connection with the eye and then bringing it down into manifestation in the present moment. That is the, the fundamental level of awareness that must be achieved to perform the magic of essential meaning. But in that process, there's all these other opportunities to work at building both that connection to the eye and that ability to ground it. And that work is uh, the work with the eye, which I introduce in 
my book, Love Letter to a Dying World. And I've done a video on the eye and connecting with the eye that anybody can do. And it's the type of experience where it improves, it mellows with age. Uh, it's like the emptiness of mind. It's infinite once you get there. And it just always grows, the practice always grows. Um, so anybody can do that. And there's the uh, work with essential meaning. This is part of the integration of the above into the below, is work with essential meaning, because here you get to understand how the universe is composed and what it's composed of. And it, it, it broadens your ability to perceive and your, the depth of your perception. And anybody can do that, you know? Anybody can directly perceive essential meaning. All they have to do is try. And again, it's a, a practice that, that grows and grows and grows. The more you do it, the more it reveals itself to you. And the more it reveals the universe to you, which is all part of integrating the above into the below. Um... Then there's the work with the Catholic brilliance, but this takes it a, a, a further step where you have to literally bring the eye down into the present moment. Um, so there's two uh, uh, practices in the Book of Aries, but I've also introduced those two practices and other things. Um, in my Love Letter to a Dying World, um, I touch upon all aspects of this, it, it, it again is as above, so below. Um, the magic of yod heh vav -He adonai is all about opening that channel between the I and the present moment and bringing that awareness down. And eventually, it leads to the same goal of the full integration of the I into the present moment. My self-healing archaeus is the same vein. It's again, it, a very different approach. The uh, magic of yod heh vav -He adonai is uh, fairly mystical. Um, the um, self-healing archaeus is uh, very scientific. It's very hermetic in that sense. Um, but it does the same thing. It's much more grounded practice because it starts with the physical body and moves on from there rises to the above from there. So then, again, it's very easy to integrate that into the below. So, that's what I have to say today about as above, so below. It's an instruction, not just a description. Okay, that's it. See you again. Bye-bye.